The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Hello, I'm Bridget Lyles with the United States Courts. The federal judiciary trains all newly appointed probation and pretrial services officers at the National Training Academy in Charleston, South Carolina. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the training program at the Academy. Javier Hernandez has more. This is the National Training Academy for federal probation and pretrial services officers. It's located on the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Charleston, South Carolina. Over a six-week course, these new officers learn the skills necessary for them to be safe and successful back in their home districts. You remember my partner, Wano? I do. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. The six-week academy, the amount of training they received during that time is something that would take us over a year to replicate back in district. That's why over 10 years ago, a group of chief probation officers and officials at the administrative office of the U.S. courts advocated for an academy. They knew standardized training could improve the probation and pretrial services system and help mitigate some safety risks to officers. It is important to realize that you're part of a bigger picture, that there's a legal framework from which we all need to operate, and there's an importance to have a collective identity as a system. We started training in January of 2005. We began with a three-week program of just firearms and safety and a few core classes. That has evolved and now we have a comprehensive program that addresses all the core classes and also uh, promotes effective communication, establishing relationships. Of course, we added scenarios and all the other things that we do. Hi, I'm Jennifer McNutt. I am here with Pretrial Services. These new officers learn how to interact with defendants and offenders, write reports, advise the courts, use national database tools, and self-defense. It also allows us to form a culture that we want, not necessarily react to what's going on around us, that we, the new officers there, can help shape uh, what we stand for, and not only now, but where we're, what we're going to stand for moving forward. And I think that's only possible because you have a common experience, and the Academy offers that common experience. The job of a U.S. probation and pretrial services officer demands that officers develop and continually draw from a diverse, complex set of skills. Today's officers wear many hats. They can be job developers, social workers, detectives, and counselors. The Academy relies on a cadre of veteran officers and supervisors to help teach these skills. I believe that the instructors love what they do. I believe they believe in our mission. And it's very evident that they give 110% every single class, every time. We call it bringing your A-game to training. The instructors here were the most knowledgeable, passionate people I think I'll ever meet. Um, they know this job inside and out, and the things that they'll teach you are some things you'll never hear anywhere else. What we're going to look at is the, the last portion of this. For the training topics we cover, as important is the training delivery, especially to our predominantly Generation Y okay. students. So the blended training concept is, is the way to go and as what the research and literature supports. The NTA staff analyze their curriculum every year in order to keep it current and fresh. It helps them produce well-rounded officers who are prepared to work anywhere in the country. With the limited resources and staffing that we have now, um, officers need to be able to do all of the work. Um, we don't have the luxury now of just plugging somebody into a particular function and letting them spend a couple of years doing that. Officers need to be ready to go to do any function depending on where our workload needs are. For Judiciary Now, I'm Javier Hernandez in Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you, Javier. The National Training Academy also certifies all agency firearms, safety, and search team instructors. Every year, approximately 800 officers receive training at the NTA. In the first 10 years, 2,516 new officers have graduated from the Academy. Reporting with the U.S. Courts in Washington, I'm Bridget Lyles.